This is a quick video to show you how I upload images into Cafe Press. I usually upload them 12 or 24 at a time, and I do so by adding them to folders in my computer set to either 12 or 24. We're going to start by going into the Open File browser. And then I'm going to go ahead and find the folder I'm looking for. And this folder is already set to 24, so I'm just going to grab them all and hit open. Depending on your internet connection and speed, this may take more or less time. And you may only be able to do three or four images at a time if you have a lower connection. I have a pretty good cable connection, so I'm able to do 24 at a time. Next, what you need to do is you need to take your title, which I'll assume you've already titled your items, and move it into the name spot. I do so by copy using control C and paste. Now doing this will not actually save them unless you've hit enter. In order to do it quickly, I run through one or two rows and then I'll show you how I go back and save them. What I do now is hit enter and then I just click on each one and quickly hit enter. It'll pop it up at the top, but I, as long as I see that pop up, now I know all of those have saved. And what I do is I lump them together as all designs that should have similar either descriptions or tags or both. I make sure that my title or name is actually going to be as descriptive as possible because that is really what the search engine is going to find when looking in Cafe Press. And that one's got a typo on it, so we'll fix that and hit enter. And there's just four more down here on the bottom. The reason why I do these in groups of 12 or 24 is because Cafe Press displays 12 on a line in their image basket. And if you follow my other tutorial video, you'll see that because of the limitations on the number of sections you're allowed in a shop, I add four designs to each section in my shop. If you just put all the designs on the front page, Cafe Press is going to shut you down because your whole page will stop working because there's just too much on one page. So four designs is the maximum I found. Occasionally I'll do five, but that does lock up some computers on slower connections. So four designs on all products in each section means that I can fit 2,000 products into, or 2,000 designs rather, into a shop that only has 500 sections. And this allows my shop to basically turn into a giant warehouse for the marketplace. I've learned on Cafe Press that 99.9% .9 of all sales are from the marketplace. So it really doesn't matter what my shop looks like. The only time I get shop sales are when I do a custom image and I send the person a link directly to that product. And even half the time that turns up as marketplace. So it's just not worth it to me to make my shop look pretty anymore. So now all of these are occupation designs, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a keyword rich description.
And unfortunately, I've now run out of space. So the description has to be shortened a little. And we'll do it this way. I only have one more word to add. And we hit save on that. And that adds it to everything. See, I clicked the all button. Now we're going to go ahead and click the tags. And for tags, I do it very short. Because I found with Cafe Press, it does better the less tags you use. I also see that this guy, for some reason, did not save properly. So we're going to put it back in there. That happened every once in a while. I have a couple of them that didn't save properly. And I'm going to hit the enter on them as I add them this time. And hers still didn't add. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Scroll up, make sure that all of them have a name. If they don't have a name, it will actually go up there as no name. So if this sold on a t-shirt, it would just tell me that t-shirt sold. I would not have a name attached to it. And I have sold them that way. So don't think that your things cannot sell if they don't have a name. I'm not sure why so many of them didn't work, but then we're going to go ahead and make sure we click the all button again. So they're all checked off and click save 24. And now we have 24 new images to add to products. 